Hey, welcome to another episode of Atkins Dining in the Kitchen. My name is Kent Altena. And this week I was running, the, this morning I was doing my 60 mile route and I was running uphill. And I was running by all these diners. And what, what was coming out of the diners? The smell of breakfast. And what specifically? Hash browns. I was smelling hash browns as I was going through past all these little restaurants along the way. And that got me thinking, do you have to give up hash browns on a low carb diet? And the answer is no. There's lots of different hash brown recipes out there. I'm going to be making one in honor of my friend Jimmy Aiken who uh, did a, a similar sort of recipe on his channel. But I'm going to load it up. I'm going to make it um, awesome low carb style. So first things first. I have some bacon frying up in this frying, in this frying pan. I'm going to throw some red, one red pepper and one half medium onion into the pan. There should be enough oil from the four or five strips of bacon that were already in the pan. All right, we're going to let those simmer on a low heat. Okay. So a lot of the recipes might have featured turnips or radishes or cauliflower. Well, we're going to feature um, spaghetti squash, like I said, in honor of Jimmy Aiken, who highlighted this to me. And how do you cook um, spaghetti squash? You cut off the bottom of it. That way you can set it and it's firm placement. And then all you do is work your knife down the middle. All right, so now that we have it cut down the middle, you can kind of see it's just like pumpkin in which there's all kinds of this stringy stuff in the middle. We're gonna scrape that out into our waste bowl, or our junk bowl. Have that half relatively clean. Let's go ahead and toss that in there as well. All right, I've scraped out most of the stringy center, so now we're going to quarter it one more time to make it fit easier into our bowl. And I'm going to put it into a pot of boiling water for roughly 25 minutes. You, you'll know when it's done when the um, strings within it are very fork tender and you can just prime out with your fork. All right, I'll put these final quarter in my bowl and we'll catch back up in about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll see you then. All right, 25 minutes have elapsed on this spaghetti squash. I've dusted them and they're fork tender. I'm going to run them through the colander. At this point, you have the most difficult piece of the whole um, procedure following you. What, how, many, how much spaghetti squash or how many hash browns do you want to eat? So, because if you don't necessarily want to consume the hash browns right away or all the spaghetti squash right away, leave them unflaked and just put them in the fridge. So, taking your spaghetti squash, just take a fork and just start running the fork across the rind.
got two of the about half of the spaghetti squash already done. Uh, we'll catch back up in just a second and we'll start cooking on the stove. Okay, so here's the spaghetti squash that we had flaked up. I've pulled the onions and peppers and the bacon out of the fryer, frying pan, and I put two tablespoons in the frying pan. At this point, you want to just Put the spaghetti squash in the frying pan. We're going to cook it up until it's brown on one side. We'll add the onions and peppers and you'll catch back up at that point. See you then. All right, so we've been cooking for about two to three minutes and you can kind of see that it's starting to get brown on that side. So we're going to flip it over. To the other side. Give a season of salt, dusting of pepper, and we're going to put the onions and pepper and bacon into it. And finally, we're going to give it one to two ounces of cheddar cheese. Cover it up. It'll cook for another, say, three minutes on that side. It'll get golden brown on that on the bottom. And I'll show you the finished product in the photos after the uh, video's over. Talk to you guys later. Bye.